From beautiful mosques to entire cities. Stay tuned to number one to find out the most amazing ancient monuments that have ever been destroyed. Number 10. The Monuments Men We're actually going to start off with a little bit of a twist on this. World War II was, without a doubt, one of the most devastating wars in human history. It spanned many countries and engulfed nearly all of Europe in its struggle. But an unforeseen casualty was that of the monuments and works of art that were being destroyed by all sides. Or worse, being hoarded by members of the Axis powers. While it's true that the lives of the people were vastly more important, a group of men knew that if those precious works of art and the monuments that they worshipped weren't saved, it wouldn't matter if the war would have been won, the culture that they fought to save would have been lost. This is the true story of the Monuments Men, a group of artists, restorers, and more who went into war with only minimal fighting experience and fought to find, collect, and preserve all the artwork and monuments that they could find. It was only a dozen men, but they went and did exactly what they set out to do. They found numerous treasure troves that the Axis powers had hidden, and even kept them safe from the Russians when they were gathering the artifacts for their own games. After the war, a new monuments men group was founded to further search for the lost pieces of art taken by the Axis powers, and they grew from 12 to 345 people proving that the preservation of culture is just as important to people as the lives of the people in the countries you're fighting for. A movie was eventually made to honor the Monuments Men, and as one of the men said at the end when he was asked if it was all worth it, he replied, yeah, it was worth it. Number 9. The Ancient City of Basra You're going to see a lot of places in Syria on this list, and that's because of the ongoing Syrian conflict, which has lasted for years, and has taken its toll on the landscape both in terms of towns and monuments. At one time, the ancient city of Basra was one of the most looked upon tourist attractions in the nation. This was because at one time it was a high point of the Roman Empire, and some of its architecture still remained in the city, highlighted by a beautiful Roman theater. The theater itself was built around the 2nd century AD. At the time, it was one of the biggest theaters ever made, which just goes to show you why many people appreciated it, because it was a tribute to architecture of a bygone era. At its prime, it could hold 15,000 people, which was something Romans were known for as they wanted to have grand spectacles and entertainment for as many citizens to see as possible. Despite it being a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Wars have ravaged the city, and mortar fire has caused the theater to be severely damaged as well as the rest of the city, which is still under fire in many ways. Number 8. The Buddhas of Bamiyam Before we talk about this amazing monument, take a moment to like this video and join the Zero to Hero community by using the buttons below. Located in Afghanistan, the Buddhas of Bamiyan were made in the 6th century on the legendary Silk Road. This particular area was known for its religious significance, and monks would come to the area to worship both in front of the statues and in the nearby small caves. Caves that they carved out by hand, by the way. The two Buddha statues came later, and if you can't tell, they were incredibly tall. One was well over 160 feet, and the other was over 100 feet. Imagine the work that went into making those statues. There was even a legend of a third statue, but whether it really ever existed or not is up for debate. Regardless, the statues came under attack multiple times over the years, but at best, they were just scarred, not destroyed. Sadly, events in 2001 didn't go the same way, and the statues were destroyed completely by those who felt that they were an affront to their laws. Many people tried to save the statues, but in the end, it wasn't meant to be. There are potential plans to rebuild them, but it's unclear if it will ever truly happen. Number 7. The Great Mosque of Aleppo Though there is some debate over who the true patron of the Great Mosque of Aleppo in Syria was, there is no doubt as to how the place came to be a ruin. Before its destruction, though, it was one of the biggest mosques around. It had a massive courtyard, dome structures, and much more. Hundreds of years of work, on and off of course, went into making the Great Mosque of Aleppo what it was. So you can see why it was truly a special place to the people of Aleppo, and to those who came to visit it for years to come. And because of all of the renovations, you could see different styles of design and architecture that went into it over time. 
Sadly, much of the Great Mosque of Aleppo was destroyed during the Syrian Civil War, including the destruction of much of the inner prayer halls. The massive courtyard is now filled with rubble from all the things that have happened to it, and the museum that was within the mosque has been looted, taking many great treasures with it. And until the Civil War ends, there can be no chance to rebuild it because it would likely be destroyed all over again. Number 6. The Tomb of Jonah In the Christian and Muslim faiths, Jonah was a prophet set by God to help a city. However, he decided to disobey when he saw how sinful the city was, and he took a boat out to another place. This led him to being swallowed by a well, and then, after admitting his wrongs, he was released back onto land so that he could complete his mission, which he did. Why do I mention this story? Well, his tomb was said to be in Iraq, and it was long believed to be true until tests proved that it wasn't the case. That being said, it was a key part of Iraq, and many came to visit it. For many years, the shrine that was on top of the tomb was a proud place of worship. That was until enemy forces captured it, rigged it to explode, and literally blew it up. While pieces of it still remain, it's not even close to what it was before. Number 5. Croc de Chevalier You may not typically associate castles with Syria, but that's exactly what Croc de Chevalier was. Uh, is. It was originally built by the Kurdish in the 11th century, and then given to knights in 1142. The castle has been many things over the years, including a settlement for people, a military base for various parties, and much more. It wasn't even called Croc de Chevalier until the 19th century, which just goes to show you how much things change over time. Sadly, like many monuments on this list, this place was another casualty of the Syrian Civil War. What's more, the area surrounding the castle is empty, and yet the Civil War rebels actually directed their attacks at the castle to try and take it down, both with artillery and with airstrikes. This focused attack heavily damaged the castle. But thankfully, it was recaptured by those who wished to see it stand, and repairs are being made to it. Number 4. The al Askari Mosque of Samarra Built in Iraq in 944 AD, the al Askari Mosque of Samarra is one of the most important monuments in all the world, mainly because it sits next to a holy shrine that houses the remains of the 10th and 11th Shia Amman. The mosque itself is a place of worship to help honor them. Why? Well, it is believed that these two men are descendants of the legendary prophet Muhammad, who is the key spiritual figure in the Muslim faith. The shrine and the mosque have been outfitted over the years to be even more extravagant, including adding a golden dome that had over 72,000 pieces put into it. But unfortunately, a bombing run destroyed the golden dome back in 2006. Luckily though, despite the violence and loss of life, the dome and all the remaining structures were rebuilt. Number 3. Nimrud Also found in Iraq, Nimrud was a place founded in the 13th century BC and was home to the Assyrian king Ashurnasir Paul II. This place was decorated heavily in his honor, including having winged guardian statues placed outside. Additional temples were later built to some of the Assyrian gods. At its peak, over 100,000 people lived in Nimrud, and it's considered to be the best place to find Assyrian architecture and sculptures due to its importance to the nation. In 2015, though, a group of people went into the city and used various techniques to destroy what remained of it, including precision explosions. Unfortunately, this destruction included the legendary statue of Ziggurat. The army was able to retake the city, but by that time, a significant amount of damage had already been done. Number 2. Palmyra In Syria, Palmyra was once an ancient Semitic city one that dated all the way back to the 2nd millennium BC. But by the 1st century AD, the city came under the rule of the Roman Empire, and like the Romans loved to do, they went and added their architecture to the city in order to make it more grand and glorious. Giant statues, temples, and a massive Roman theater were built there and lasted a very long time, even when the city itself was destroyed and rebuilt in 273 AD. It was also partially destroyed again in the 4th century AD, but many of its structures still stood. However, it was the Syrian civil war that did the most damage to it. In 2015, a hostile group besieged the city and went to town on its structures, including the Roman Temple of Bel and its massive statues. Public displays of violence were also held there. Back and forth struggles kept the city in conflict until 2017, when the Syrian army was able to finally take it back for good. Number 1. Cyrene 
Cyrene can be found in Libya, and it was a city that was both Greek and Roman. An interesting mix when you think about it. So naturally, the city was very grand and even called the Athens of Africa. It was a massive cultural spot and of great importance to the locals and the Greeks. Eventually, it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. However, a civil war broke out in Libya, and it resulted in much of the city being destroyed, including 200 tombs being wiped out, a necropolis being destroyed, and even an ancient aqueduct. Which do you feel was the most tragic loss? Let us know in the comments below and take care!